What's going on, guys? This is Corey with Colorado Cold Bloods. And this is Aaron with Colorado Cold Bloods. Imagine that you're also with Colorado Cold Bloods. So, Shocker. anyway, gonna do something a little bit different this round. Um, hopefully, you guys are gonna have fun uh, watching this. Uh, I don't know how much fun we're gonna have doing this, but I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Hot Ones Challenge. Uh, it's on YouTube. If you haven't heard of it, strongly suggest watching those videos. Some of them are really hilarious, but basically they do a challenge with celebrities. Um, they go through all of these sauces because the sauces are ranked one through 10 based on the Scoville, Scoville units, that one. Um, so they go through all them. They ask them questions. We're not going to do that because well, we've been married forever. So we kind of already know each other's yeah. questions. You know what we should have done though? We should have probably had them pre-comment for something like this with questions we could have them go through for us but yeah, yeah. oh well sorry right. next time when sure. we feel like killing our insides because yeah. the box changes every season uh for the most part the some of the sauces change some of them have been around for the whole time like one of them in particular which yep. none of us are really looking forward to but um so uh yeah let's just go ahead and get started so the first one is ranks number one which would be Number one being the least hottest, and then number 10 will be the most. And FYI, if you hear clickety clack, it's our dog. I'm sorry. He just, he just wanders. So, so the first one is actually made by Hot Ones. Um, it's the classic. It's called Chili Maple Edition, um, and it's 1600 Scoville heat units. So we'll just go ahead and we're using, uh, chicken nuggets i guess instead of hot wings which is what they usually use but we had hot wings for lunch so that just sounded like too much little, work a little silly all right so definitely not hot mm -mm. it's good flavor though mm -hmm. definitely very good flavor definitely right. not hot though it's yep. for those who Want it? Want hot sauce, but don't want it to be hot. That's the one to have. Um, and then, as we get further into this, we have our backup milk just in case here um, in our CCB glasses. <laughs> so anyway, we'll jump into number two. So number two is made by Shaquandas. It's called Banji Ranch. It's sixty-two hundred global units, so it's quite the jump from the first one at 1600 to 6200 so still low on the scale but it smells good and this is not the latest season box uh, we got it towards the end of last season here so um the current season that's running on hot ones is a little bit different than mm -hmm. this That's not bad. Again, it's not really hot. Definitely taste the, the ranch style of it. Mm -hmm. Definitely would be good with like French fries, like a mm. dipping sauce yeah. for French fries. Yep. Definitely there is more, a little bit of heat. It kind of gets you in the back of the throat. It's not bad though. It's I, kinda... I felt like I had a little bit more out of number one on that. But... Mm. Okay. We'll see. So number three is, um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because um, I got a D in Spanish in school. <laughs> it's it's um, the uh, Cadejo. That. So, it's at a it, 15,000 Scoville units. So again, quite the jump. So let's uh, test it. Mm -hmm. I smell everything before I eat it. <laughs> I'm sorry, say, I'm you're, just You're weird. brave to smell it. <laughs> if it melts your nose, you're not going to want to eat it. <laughs> Ooh, I like the flavor of that one. Yeah. Mm hmm Probably not a ton of heat, but mm -mm. good flavor. Very good. I That's a really good flavor. I could eat a lot of that. Yeah, I could eat that whole bottle. Yep. Sweet. All right. All right. Or sweet. Right. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. Number four is also made by Hot Ones. It's called Los Calientes Verde. See, Spanish, not so good. But it's at uh, 36,000 school units, so they so just keep increasing. Basically doubling it again. <clears throat> Ooh. They say, like, what, 
eighty percent of what you taste is in the smell, something like sure. that. I don't don't quote me on that. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> mm. That would be good on tacos. Oh, I would so rock that on tacos. Mm. That's good flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just drink another dip. Oh, look at the double dip. Double dipper. Oh. You double dip the chip. <laughs> All right. Some of you might know that where that reference came from. Honestly, that didn't really have much heat to me, but no, but a lot of flavor. Definitely good on tacos. Yep. Um. Maybe nachos. That would be good too. Probably order a lot of that after we finish that bottle. Mm -hmm. All right. The next one, <clears throat> excuse me, is by the Brooklyn Deli. It's ghost pepper hot sauce. That's literally what it says. It's at 39,000 Scoville heat units. So not too terribly of a jump from the last one. So. I don't think I'm going to like this one just <laughs> based on the smell. And I'll tell you, you why. I'll first. tell you why in a second. <laughs> but you're not gonna like it, or I'm not. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I have smells, to admit, it kind of the reason why I don't like it, it doesn't say on there, but I think it says on here. Hmm. Mm. Curry. I'll tell you in a second. Yeah. It's, <clears throat> it's on the bottom. It's just curry there. So curry is in it. Right. Sorry, I didn't know that. Apparently, I'm not a fan of curry because no. I don't like the taste of it. The heat is good. Yeah, it's got a little bit of zip. A little bit of a zing, but. Yeah. We're definitely getting uh, further up in the chain. That was number five. Mm -hmm. You can actually taste the heat this time. So taste it or feel it? Taste it. Okay, I feel it. Yeah, whatever. Okay, whatever. You're weird. <clears throat> All right, so number six. <clears throat> is the torchbearer it's called it's that's from what's from, who it's from the torchbearer and it's mushroom mayhem and it's at sixty eight thousand scoville units so again practically doubled really <laughs> Ooh, that one smells good i'm feeling we're uh, gonna start regretting this uh another one or two here just challenge her yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> we'll have uh, visual documentation so Deer. It smells good. Mm hmm Tastes good, too. Mm hmm There's the heat. Um, <clears throat> kind of gets to you at the end there. It's like it, after you swallow, it gives its mm -hmm. last hurrah. There's a lot of uh, a lot of mushroom in there for me. I actually like that, so that's pretty impressive. I don't typically like mushrooms, so um, and this is obviously she mentioned mushroom mayhem, but um, it's actually not not too bad on the flavor, even for me when I don't like mushroom. So not too shabby. No. Really not a win, but that one that one's um, sticking with me a little bit. <clears throat> well, and keep in mind, as you go further, it starts to compound. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. All right. Well, you got Number a little bit of zip. It's like you, it, it's like eating those, the, the flaming hot chips and stuff the like cheetos, that. Yeah. Where, you, you know, the more you eat, the more it builds. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. That's why. Okay. So this one is funny just because <clears throat> of the name. It's made by the angry goat. <laughs> I, I love goats. Um, it's called Dreams of Calypso. But... I might like this one a lot because it's got pineapple and mango in it, and I'm always a fan of fruit in sauces. I probably should have been mm. showing the bottles every time. This smells really good. <clears throat> it looks mustard-based. Mm -hmm. That would be good on, like, brisket. Cold pork. Not mustard based. Mm -mm. It's warm. Mm. <clears throat> I'm using the back. I don't care. It's not a real bubble. <clears throat> That's um that is really good, but Woo. I can eat that. I can eat a lot of that. 
<clears throat> All right, oh. so number eight is actually when you watch the videos, the one that everybody does not like and regrets eating. I'm terrified. It's called The Bomb, or it's made by The Bomb, and it's called Evolution. Um, like I said, everybody, I don't think there's been one video of somebody who actually eats this and likes it. Yep. Um, I can tell you when I started oh. pouring it in here, it smells weird, so I'm not going to smell it because I already <laughs> did. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm hor horrified. And I'm terrified because everybody says there is no flavor. It is all heat, which is what people don't like. So here we go. That's a lot. I can see what everybody says that the flavor is not, I, not that great, and then the heat starts to build. Yeah, huh. <laughs> going for gold. Huh. Yeah, um, hmm. I, I've got some serious zip to it, but definitely not something that I would uh, put on anything for fun or because it would taste good. My nose is running. Hopefully the uh, <coughs> mic is still good. <coughs> yeah, that's uh. That's terrible. Oh my god. Yeah, not not enjoyable. It just lingers. Yeah, <laughs> it never stops. It's getting worse. <clears throat> mm. Okay. <coughs> Cool. Hopefully it doesn't I won't have rest. a milk mustache in entire time either. So, um, All right, so the... Yeah. Ooh, number nine... That's wicked. Is one that I... Oh, by the way, the bomb is sitting at 135,600 Scoville units. And it's terrible. <laughs> My mouth hurts. <laughs> I can see yeah. why people start crying. Can't talk. Okay. Number nine is it just keeps it going. It just gets worse. Whew. Number nine is by the Butterfly Bakery. It's called Taco Vibes Only. I was really excited about this one. I may not be at the moment, but I really was. <laughs> well, remember, it compounds, so it has to compound on top of the bomb. Whew. It's six <laughs> at it. So I can't even talk. It's and six. now you see why they do interview questions. Right? Trying to get celebrities to talk while they're doing this. <clears throat> it sits at 638,000 Scoville units, and it has Carolina Reapers and Ghost Peppers in it. So this should be... Whew. Okay, it smells really good. I hope I can taste it. Okay. All right, not bad. No. <laughs> Taco Vibes Taco only. Vibes only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good, Dab. Okay, after having the bomb, mm. that one's not really hot, I don't think, but it has really good flavor. And yes, taco vibes only, totally good on a taco. That would be good. Um, that one comes after. <clears throat> or it's just the bomb. Yeah, <laughs> what's left over from the bomb? Mm. Yeah, that's that's got to build. Um, awesome flavor, the bomb, no flavor, but <clears throat> that one has a really good flavor. It just got a kick. I feel like everything after the bomb <clears throat> doesn't get its spot in the spotlight because it tastes. Or just everything after is going to taste amazing because it had no real flavor. Oh um, my god, um, my mouth is on fire. Okay. Thank God we're on the last one. Why? Oh my God. <laughs> hey, hold on, sorry. <clears throat> All right, number, <clears throat> number 10 and the last one is by the Hot Ones again. It is called the Last Dab. The Scoville units are TBA, so they don't even know yet. Are you scared yet? No. Yeah. Everybody says this sauce tastes really good. 
So it's referred to as the last dab. Normally they have everything tossed in the sauce first and then they dab a little bit extra on top. We're not gonna do that because really honestly we're dipping and getting quite a bit when we're dipping them. So, man, the bomb is still there. It's got a really good smell. This is one that I've been most excited to taste, honestly, because mm. everybody always says how good it is. So. It's got a good flavor. Mm -hmm. That Scoville unit's gonna be high. I'm um, mm -hmm. starting to tear up a bit. That's uh, hot. <laughs> really good, but holy moly. <clears throat> Mistakes were made. I might be having ice cream before bed. <clears throat> <laughs> mistakes were made. Um, Glorious yeah. mistakes, but... No, it's good. Um, it's got really good flavor. Yeah. It smells really good, but... Wow. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sweating. Wow. Regretting the, the big dips now? A little bit. <clears throat> so, anyway, uh, now you get to see us try and talk our way through the uh, outro here. Um, yeah. So, coming up in uh, early September, we'll see you in Conroe, Texas. Um, heading on out there. And, holy crap, my mouth is on fire. Mm -hmm. um, woo. We also have a show coming up <clears throat> in October in Colorado, Repticon, uh, down at the Arapahoe County Fairgrounds. Um, we still have eggs in the incubator, so we still have clutches coming. We are winding down, though, as far as clutches go, so we're almost done for the season. It's really this hard to really talk. Hard. Now, I see, uh, now I see why the interview is so much harder. Whew. Um, anyway... Don't forget to like, <laughs> share, subscribe. <clears throat> this video is different, but we've been wanting to do this for a while, and we thought, why not share it with the people who subscribe to us? Normally, um, for those who are just here to laugh at people torturing themselves, um, normally <clears throat> we're a ball python and snake channel. So hopefully, if that interests you at all, please go ahead and join us. Um, I think you're not supposed to have water, but oh my woo! god. And now, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, cut it there. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you soon. And to quote the last video, Corey and Aaron, out.